Now, uh, about all this talk around easing restrictions and things getting back to normal, here's the bottom line that many of you are asking and we've even asked. When is this whole thing going to be over? Our Verify team is on the story. Verify exists to clear up misinformation and answer your questions, big and small, about the coronavirus pandemic. One viewer named Carol asked us, quote, what metrics will determine when the pandemic is over? Is there a data target of sorts? So let's verify. What does it mean for a pandemic to end? Pandemics don't end in a bang, but in a whimper. That's our first source, Dr. Stephen Kissler with the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health. And one way that the pandemic could end is simply that there's no more COVID. SARS-CoV-2 just stops spreading. But our experts say that this one is pretty unlikely. So instead, what I think we'll be looking for is um, something where COVID poses a similar risk on the population level as other things that we're familiar with. Flu is another really good example here, where we have enough people vaccinated, where we've especially vaccinated the most vulnerable to severe infection, uh, to severe disease and, and death. Dr. Linda Nabha, an infectious diseases expert from the University of Pittsburgh, agrees. Infection rate, hospitalizations, and deaths. Um, are sort of the three major endpoints we look at in addition to what we've talked about before is herd immunity. Herd immunity is when enough of the population has been vaccinated to protect those who haven't been. And really, our experts say that the end of the pandemic will depend on where in the world you live. Here's an example. Let's take these two infectious diseases, HIV and tuberculosis. The WHO says that 1.5 million people still die from TB every year. And in 2019, almost 700,000 people died of HIV-related causes. Dr. Kistler believes that they're both still pandemics, but they're mostly affected low to middle income countries. I think that that may be what we what we transition into where under some definitions SARS-CoV-2 will continue to be a pandemic. So we can verify that we'll watch for infections, hospitalizations and deaths to go down in order to reach some sort of end. But when that end is, is going to depend on where you live. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozlov.